Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ruby language and then set up Rails framework. So for setting Rails, you have multiple options. On Windows, you have choice to first download Ruby language and then from Gem, you can install Rails. Okay. However, often you will find that there are some issues with downloading from Gem and you may have some certification issues permission issues and for that there are some installers created that you can use so there is one rails installer and another ruby installer so ruby installer is you can say one package that you can properly set up on your windows and it is only limited for ruby installation in case of Rails, this package will install multiple gems such as Rails, Bundler, Git, SQLite, and SQL Server support. So what you should do here is go to railsinstaller.org and then download the version that you want. Once you download, you can then have this installer and then you can double click on it then run and it will start installation process click on accept then click next I suggest changing this from C to D or any other drive the reason being if C drive has your Windows installation often it will ask for admin permissions which may break some of the gems. So install it on drive that doesn't require much permissions and you can quickly access even without admin permissions. Okay, so it will install git. Also, it will add executable to path. Okay, now click on install and it will go through the installation process. Okay, it will do all the installation of Ruby, Git and few other packages for you so you don't have to do anything more. Also it is going to set up path after the completion of installation so that part is also taken care of. So we'll just wait and see after this installer finishes its installation. Okay, at the end you will have this dialog box where you can select configure git and ssh when installation has completed. Click on finish and let it go through ssh configuration so that it has created a public and private key and also have it set up in your folder. It will also ask for admin permission and if you have antivirus then it will ask you to protect that okay so just click on allow and you won't have much issue now okay it will be added to your exceptions list for antivirus okay so your git ruby rails and ssh all are set up okay now let's open command prompt and check out whether irb now type in ruby dash v and it should show you the version installed also you can type in irb and check IRB prompt okay you can exit from it also you can use gem install and then install the rails or update it okay now ruby installer makes it easy for you to do all these operation on windows so you have a choice to either go with rails installer 
और द रूबी इंस्टॉलर